bored, have no life, and have much spare time on your hands. Boy, have you come to the right place. Welcome to the first episode of the Dave and Archer Show, where, of course, myself, Elijah Archer, and my trusty, unworthy sidekick, Dave Demented. That would be me. That would be you. Hence the unworthiness, because in my presence you are but a mere servant a speck of dust in the spectrum that is the universe. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Now, you should do an Elijah Archer chant. Archer. Archer. Now, Archer. A, mini wave, a mini wave in in honor of yourself. Nobody can see it, but at least... You know, sadly, I just did it. <laughs> Most excellent. So it's been a while since we've done a show. Yep. That's the shortest intro we've ever had before, because normally we're speaking off about things we can't talk about. Yes. Yes, because that's you said for, that, that's for another show. Because you said you'd hang up if we talked about it. Yes, I will. About the, about the things that shall not be named on the show. Yes. About the person that shall not be named on the show. You're pushing it. Well, I'm not pushing anything. I'm just kind of advertising for things that you don't want to discuss. Really, it's, we'll discuss you know, that at a later so show. A later show. We're here so to talk about the hell in a cell paper. So there's going to be a show eventually that we talk about. Get back. Huge. Yeah. Just huge. Huge. Show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but you here. can't have you can't you can't have garlic bread without cheese, motherfucker. There you go. You just ruined it. Ah, you made me swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck it. We always we, we knew there was going to be swearing on the show. Yeah, well, not, I was trying to hope. Please, we're not halfway through. We're not, we're not done. Why do you keep interrupting me? I'm the host. I'm the fucking star of this show. You're just you're you're not even the co-star. You're like I'm total. You're, you're a bus boy, Mister. You fuck everything that moves. Now that's you. Come to my house, the fish stops swimming. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, we're not going to talk about things you don't want to talk about today. No, that's, we'll do for that another show. that's for another show. We keep saying that. It's kind of like the who's on first thing, what's on second. <laughs> we're, we're, we're Bud Abbott and Lou Costello now. Yep. That's okay, though. Yep. They became famous. Yes. They had a lot of money. Yes, they did. Cars. Women. Yep. I don't want women. Woman. Woman. I like women. Uh, Women, well, you know, I like some. <laughs> some women are crazy. Other women are just like, you know, scary. Yes, I don't know. scary. It, you can't, you you can't get away with anything anymore. They're all over your ass on the internet. They're hacking your account and they can get away with that shit. Yep. If we do that, we're stalkers and they break up with us. And so, but if they do it, it's okay. You know, we can't say anything because we look stupid. Yep. Why are you whining? What do you? Do you have something to hide from your? Wife? But it's okay for them to do it. We can't even have their fucking password. And they're probably just playing Candy Crush. Uh, don't talk to me about that game. Candy Crush. Don't say it. Fine on it. What about, can we talk about uh, different fake groups that uh, are affiliated with things that shouldn't be named on the show? No. Oh. We'll talk about those at a later date. Fine. What are we here for again? We're Some's... here to talk about the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. I wish I could reach my phone because somebody's blowing it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll do. I'll unplug the battery, and I'll just take. Um, we're now venturing to my. Other, by the way, I'm making brownies on the show. Yes, he's making brownies while we do the show. Triple chocolate brownies, in fact. Yes, I've already got the oven preheated. It's kind of like good sex in that manner. And I have a mixture in the bowl coming out of the brown mix. Shit, downhill real fast. It is now. Uh, a multitasking show. We're gonna because today this is the first episode of the Dave and Archer show. Why is it not called the Archer and Dave show? Why the fuck is it called the Dave and Archer show? You know why? Because Dave made the fucking name. Then he tried to tell me I couldn't fucking swear. It ruins the whole fucking show if we can't do that. Because at least it was stupid. This yeah, but you swear just for the sake of swearing. It kind of loses yeah, its purpose. I not. Not fucking true. Yeah, it is. Fine. You whining little bitch. Anyways, on the first episode of this show, not only are we going to have, we are in fact going to have post WWE Hell in a Cell uh, pay per view results. 2013, of course. We're not going to go back in time uh, because. That, well, that would be that, stupid. That would be stupid. And we don't do stupid things. We are stupid. We are not stupid. No. We don't do stupid things. We do not make stupid sites that shall not be named. Um. Oh, sorry. Go on. <laughs> So, yes, that we brownies are yummy. People will be fascinated by the fact that we made triple chocolate brownies on the show. I'm not going to list the ingredients because then we're turning in Betty Fuck Crocker. 
But we can discuss the fact that I'm mixing things. I'm going to grease the pan soon. Oven's preheated. I do have the brownie mix, which contains flour and other wonderful uh, ingredients like cocoa and sugar. Salt. Tasty. Anyways, it will be tasty. Right now, it's kind of, you know, a powdery substance. But it is, in fact, going to turn into brownies once I actually mix... uh, well, once I mix, you're gonna spend this entire thing talking about your brownie, or we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty of why we're here. Hey, did you watch the pay per view? Yes, I watched it. Then why can you not? St- See, now you got me throwing my phone. You made me throw my phone. You've got me all because worked this up. is your show. I'm just here to make you. Look good. Oh, that's my show, but yet you did that. But yet you called the Dave and Archer show. And you show me up with the name. All right, fine. Shut up and make your brownies. And not- F- okay, fine. So. I'll mix brownies. You get to talk about the first match. I don't no, want to talk, talk about, about the pre-show or the first match on the actual card. Well, it is the post-show, so we can talk about you know Playboy magazine if we really want to. But I suggest you start with the pre-show on pre-show the post-show. On the post-show. Gotcha. Then it's pre-show. Pre-show post-show results. Well, pre-show on the post-show results. Paper results. Anyway, shut up. I will shut up. You talk. Well, it's like uh, for the pre-show we had. Uh, Damian Sandow versus Kofi Kingston. And uh, I sadly missed that one. You f- how do you I, miss that? That's not my homework. I have a life right. you. You don't have I a do. life. You prove it. Should you have a picture? I'll prove that you have a life. <laughs> I will disprove it. There's probably many, many facts to suggest that Dave, for instance, you're doing a radio show. It's only nine twenty one one night. Oh, I was just gonna say you're two hours behind no, me because, because you're I'm a not a Canadian. But uh, any of the Canadians out there? Hey, I like Canadians, just not this one. <laughs> yes. you, no, because he loves That's this. One. Story. Flirts with me. Never buys dinner and expects sexual favors. So, did you watch the <laughs> pre-show match? What I watched most it? of it. At some point, I had okay. to pee. <laughs> I'm always entertained by Sando. You know who I've never been entertained by? And I don't understand to this day? I understand Santino Morella more than I understand this person. Kofi Kingston. Please explain to me, Kofi Kingston. What is Kofi King? What's his gimmick? What's he do? What's he supposed think... to be doing? What is, what is, his, what is his goal? He really knows what he's supposed to be doing anymore. I don't think the WWE knows he... I don't even... They... <laughs> I don't know. They, they don't. <laughs> they don't push Arthur with the limit. They push Kofi for Kingston, who's basically a younger, less talented oh, Arthur. You're a talent, less talented Archer. <laughs> Not talentless. He's got talent. Less talented than Arthur. Oh, our truth. Oh, our truth. I heard you said less talented than Col- yourself. I heard all oh, of myself. Talented yeah, that's what Archer. I said. Yes, I did. You asked me a question. And, and then you don't well, fucking listen to the answer. Sucks. And you wonder why I swear. Well, I swear. My audio sucks. You keep breaking out. I only hear no. Okay. No. And, oh, and if that's true, it's somehow your fault. That white kid. All right. Exactly. I'm trying to take care from a baby here. Anyways, hey, back on to the Kofi Kingston thing. Well, you know, I don't want to be on him. had a push since his whole... Uh, Short little feud with Yord. Remember back in the day? Oh, yeah, back yeah. when he was smashing Orton's car. Actually, looked, had something decent going on. Then they fucking completely left it. Uh, well, in what the I belt. remember reading, you know, the dirt sheets was that uh, Randy Orton had a beef with him or something like that. And he was the man. Well, uh, sort of. Anyways. Uh, that's... Uh, Okay, we've crossed the line with the belt show. Two seconds in with the F bomb, so why not the belt (laughs) show? The F bombs are not so much bombs as they are lovely little reminders that there is humor in the world. There is a light at the end of the dark, dark tunnel that is Dave demented. All right, Miss Barack, I gotta keep on track, you know. We were talking about yes. Wrestling in a in a manner that we're not normally used to talking about, because normally when we discuss wrestling. Fantasy it's more on a uh, 
<laughs> yeah. That's just, yeah. Yeah. That's for another show. Talk, that'll be that, episode for another show of the Archer, the Archer and Dave show. But still, well, there is one. There is one name that we never said we couldn't bring up that we could bring up. That's just funny because we kind of miss him. And it'd be fun to have on the Dave and Archer show. Not even talking about talking about fantasy laughing. stuff. Yeah. It's See, okay. you said it, not He's me. He's not really affiliated shit. with that other place okay. anymore. <laughs> so, no, not really. We should yeah. be... Uh, he always comments on my he, show. He's got a lot now. This is, yeah. He keeps telling Eight. everybody. I don't believe him for a yeah. second. What's he doing? Some, some cheeseburgers? <laughs> cool. We're playing with a snake. <laughs> Crazy United Kingdom bastard. Yeah, he he is, but he's fun. I love I love what food. I, I, yes, we and we have him singing could on ever the show. Get him actually on the show. Yes, we could. But it, you know what would be fun too is to have some owners on the show. Not talking about that. We could, we could start razzing this individual about to, yeah, I don't know, Dallas do Cowboys sucking. We should... Uh, see how we're going to post it on the uh, <laughs> said site. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I'm pushing the envelope. Right? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. But uh, nonetheless, it would be amusing to have the. Uh, uh, All right, let's move on to the, the individual. Uh, on well, that is wrestling, because it's you know. Okay, fine. Anyways, my yeah. point is, what the hell is Kofi King and uh, I did not. What, what did you think of the outcome? Did you see the outcome? I know who won, but actually, you don't know who won. Damien Sendow. Okay. Then who won? Because I read it. <laughs> How do you know I that read. if you didn't know? Yes, I am. Cheat bastard! You're reading dirt sheets. Well, At least I, I watched it before I checked out the dirt sheets. Uh, well, lazy Some bastard. Have it. I suppose. Yes. Not American. a dirty Canadian. Not a no. <laughs> dirty Canadian. Well, I'm not a you filthy should. American. <laughs> Everybody on the show, <laughs> listening to the show, they're just going to go, what the fuck? Are they making fun of Canadians? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are. And Americans. What the fuck? We're American. Turn this shit off. We're not people. listening to this. I'm not taking this crap from anybody. So anyways... Damien Sandow, of course, should beat Kofi Kingston because Damien Sandow makes yeah, fucking sense and should see, already be holding the title. Somebody wins the Money in the Bank, they have to go on this like losing streak. Oh, I know it's disgusting. I mean, uh, I, don't I don't know. That. I don't understand. But, it. It I mean, look at uh, Dolph Ziggler when he won the Money in the Bank last year. He went out losing. And Damien Sandow, the same, same yep. thing. Let's- yeah. Even fucking John Cena did. I couldn't believe he was losing matches. Now, mind you, they were mostly paper matches he was losing. They still had him on losing streaks. Speaking of John Cena, boy, and I, was like, I got a bone to pick with that. John Cena. I know, but I, you said I had to Well, bring it up. that'll come later. We have to talk to <laughs> Like that, I'm about to grease my fucking pan for... That's important. So, what was the first match on the actual card? It is. Uh, duh. It was a wrestling match Who on uh, WWE. Did how? It was yeah, the. Uh, it was like, no, you yeah. didn't. I came in right at the. Uh, really? Kind of in the middle of the Big and Ambrose match. Little E Nielsen. Bigger I understand name. why they call him Big E. He ain't big. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, no, no, actually not. Probably bigger than you. In size. <sighs> I mean, sure, he's probably. I'm 189 pounds, so I'm gonna guess he's around 250. But I mean, like anybody believes a guy that's five foot nine or five foot eight or whatever he is, be that fucking big without fucking roids. Yeah. Legal, I mean, and probably not roids, something legal, obviously, but people always say steroids. Dude, oh. they have money. They don't need steroids. They can do things that are legal that do the same thing. Yeah. So, so but anyways, I'm glad to meet Zando on that match. I would have been. He's awesome. Like, 
he reminds he could easily be the love yeah. child of Randy Macho Man and Rushing Rhodes. Reminds me of the old Dean gimmick. From, He's uh, awesome. Shane Douglas when he was in the WWE back in the day. Kind of, but wrestles way better. Yeah. And, and not just that, he can also. Well, I was just gonna say the fucker can wrestle his ass off. Um, Damian Sandow's easy, uh, easily one of my fucking. Uh, Favorites. Anyway, so the opening match uh, is uh, Cody Rhodes and Golda. And by the way, I like your intro. It's it's a combination. It's a new song that's a combination of mirrors and gold dust music. Yeah, it's cool. Which suggests to me they might keep those titles on them for a while. Saying that uh, they'll keep them on them at least through a Survivor Series, maybe even through the Royal Rumble, and then we'll have Gold Dust turn on. Cody and then have him fight at the uh, or yeah something like that but that be because they lose the title fight each other at Wrestlemania that's kind of what the dirt sheets are saying but you can never trust those things so anyways I thought the Usos could have done more during the match they focused a lot on uh, obviously uh, the shield uh, that's Usos had a good little really run during the match utilized. you know it, Oh yeah, the Usos are awesome, man. It's funny how much the one the, there is, or the one. It's yeah, funny to see how they look like, like how much they look like Rocket. You can tell they're related. Yeah, obvious reasons, but yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, overall, I was with the tag team match. I think it was one of the better matches on the card. I don't know what other people would say. I understand why they open with shit like that. Please, why all open with the non-title matches? <laughs> you know, please the fucking card, right? Nobody, I don't, I can see on TV doing yeah. shit like that because you want to make sure people turn in at certain times. But on a, on a pay-per-view, please book a proper card. And that was a good match. It could have easily been above a card level, so I don't know. I don't know what their thoughts no, are. I did not. Uh, I heard he was supposed to. And did you know he returned tonight? Uh, resume his feud with uh, the Wyatt family. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you oh, yeah, with Miz, right? Up where he left off with, uh, the Wyatt family. Yeah, well, we want uh, want Kane Chance, of course, breakout. Uh, and while well, Kane came back, his <laughs> was uh, he got quite the ovation. He uh, yeah, he. Went to him. How could you miss that? You missed that too. Yeah. I actually think the return of Kane was better than the entire next matchup. Awesome. Yes. Yes. So, basically, um, the it was an in-ring, in-ring segment, obviously. The Miz, the Wyatt yeah. family, and, and like I said, Kane returned. And Miz came out and talked about Wyatt's uh, always saying to follow Buzzard, so he tells him to get out there, blah, blah, blah. Wyatt appeared at the Titantron... Calls Ms. Hollywood, tells him to understand his words mean nothing. And then, uh, of course, the lights go out and back on, That's and then good. the wife comes in and kicks the crap out of Ms. <laughs> no, no, neither. I don't understand the Miz. I don't understand him any more than, well, you know, I don't know. I, I guess he is better than Kofi Kingston. I still don't understand Kofi Kingston. I don't under- I'm mixing <laughs> the running mix up, by the way. I just had to bring that. The, the The pan is already greased and ready to go, so now I'm just doing the little mix nice. of the triple chocolate brownies that uh, by the end of the night you're going to wish we were here to eat one of them. Thank you. Fine. Three, <laughs> but either way, it's not really going to happen. But I will let you know how they taste. Of course. Um... And the allow we want Kane uh, chant breaks out and uh, Pyro goes off. It comes Kane came to the ring, cleans house and Faye of course uh, takes off backstage and uh, Kane turns his attention to Miz. He grabs Miz by the throat and then he okay. leaves. That's me. That's the summary of that. So where did you pick? You didn't see the next match either then. The no. uh, Fandango. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I mean, he. 
I was going to say, he will not listen to our show if we don't say it correctly, so it's FUN! FUN! <laughs> My testicles are sore now. <laughs> Ooh, update, I'm now a brownie mix from the mixing bowl into the greased pan. It's a 9x9 nine nine square uh, cake. That's fascinating, right? And of course, I'm going to be cooking it at 350, which even an American can have because it is Fahrenheit, not Celsius, of course. Or else it's really fucking hot. Nothing. What? Mm -hmm. Jack off. It's not interested in my. Just upset now because you can't fucking have them. You gotta yep. go all mean and shit. You gotta pull. Yep. You gotta be Dave. What I'm known for. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sick bastard. I am now about two seconds from pouring it. It does look rather tasty and it's attempting to eat the batter, but I think I'll just cook it. Yes, there's three different types of chocolate chips in this yummy nice. shit. Yes. I will, of course, at some point have to wash these. Uh, so, yeah, this matchup was uh, uh, Fandango Summer Ray versus the Grat. Gra <laughs> you can't even say his fucking name right. The Giant Kali and uh, Natalia. And, yeah, I know. Exactly. Why was that just not left that? off of but, the uh, show? Yeah. I know. And what a stupid impromptu thing. They don't have the Curtis Axel versus uh, Little E. Needleston. So instead they have fucking Dean Ambrose. That doesn't even make sense to me. I meant to mention that earlier when we were talking about... Because, uh, of course, the pre-show was supposed to be... <laughs> The show. Well, it was supposed to be Axel uh, versus uh, Little Edelstein. Ended up not going through. How wonderful for us. Now, before I put the brownies in the oven and we further discuss this uh, matchup, I am going to uh, wash the mixing bowl. So there's proof some people in the world still do dishes and not just break them and throw yeah, them that's out. That's why I buy styrofoam. So, uh, uh, what do you, t t t we don't make fun <laughs> of stuttering people. It is rather rude to do such things. What? I understand. And it's very inappropriate. And we don't make fun of the host oh, with the crazy. most. Like crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, wrong show. So if I had gone through with that, we could have named You Shall Not Be Named on this show because it's for other shows. Anyways, what do you think of Fondago and Summer Rae together? Because I'm not going to because i got to tell you, it was absolute trash. It's not even worth mentioning. We're going to just talk about the wrestlers themselves. Uh, with, by the way, listen to Kali, who absolutely fucking sucks. Yeah, he does. Uh, he does. I mean, if he, if he didn't have a big cock and uh, got them into India, he would be there. No, Vince hops all over the big guys. He's got a big heart on for big men. Yeah, uh, yeah. He always has. If it wasn't for Triple H, D. Brian, everybody, Punk, all those guys wouldn't be doing half as well as there. That's why I'm always amused with the storylines, how he hates these guys. Yeah. He's the one that made them. <laughs> you know, because he took him forever to convince Vince. and uh, Which I don't really know why, because Vince has always been big on guys Serio, Eddie Guerrero. But I guess he saw more potential in them than yeah. D. Brian and stuff. Reason. Anyways, Nick Fondango and Summer Rae being works. paired up. I've never been a big fan of uh, his. Yeah. Fondango? I actually like his wrestling ability. Yeah. He's quite agile. And I like I like the fact that he can execute that top rope leg drop and not hurt anybody. That is absolutely unreal to me. Because uh, I've seen other people do that same yeah. move and actually hurt people. Okay. So, uh, D'Lo Brown used to do it, and he'd hurt yeah. people all the time doing it. So, and, I, and, you know, he's not the only one. There's been a... It's like the only person that a proper... Well, actually, there's two now. To three... I apologize. There's now three people to do it correctly without hurting somebody. Well, Daniel Bryan can probably do it too, but uh, Damian Sandow, uh, Randy Macho Man Savage, and CM Punk do that top yeah. rope elbow drop uh, yep. with such grace. Uh, uh, Daniel Bryan, I can't recall him. If he, Has he done that? Uh, he's done elbow drops, but I don't know if he's done top rope. He usually does a giant headbutt or uh, splash or something from the top rope, yep. not, a, not an elbow. So. But he probably could do it too. But uh, other people, not so much. 
even Shawn Michaels had done it a few times as Kurt, and he heard a few people hurt their sternums and shit, so. But, uh, Fondado, I, I actually like his wrestling ability, I like his character, I just, I don't know about being paired with Summer Rain, and they need to let him go back to incorporating more dance moves into his wrestling ability, because I remember when he first started, they were letting him, uh, duck and moves, or people were right behind it. And then they went and watered him down for some reason. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where they take that character. But, but, but honestly, though, what do you think of... Uh, so you don't care I too don't, much I for Fondo right for now, anyway. The gimmick. What about... Uh, well, it's better than... Uh, uh, what was he called before? I always forget. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. Or something to that effect. Yeah. 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 But... Uh, what is it with last name names? Like certain websites that you come across that have dumb ass names. <sighs> dumb ass name owners. Another show. Know. So <laughs> we don't even know what I was going to talk about. Man. Yeah, I know. So uh, Summer Ray, what do you think of Summer Ray? She's hot. Definitely that. There is that. That's about it. Um. You ever tried cross stitching? No, I have not. Oh, just thought I'd ask. Because that's how I'm using this part of the conversation. <laughs> what about Natalia? <laughs> what, what about Natalia? Yeah. I love Natalia. I wish they'd do something with her. She, she's got way more uh, patrol than Natalia, that's for sure. It is. Um, I'd say average, she's vulnerable. Oh, I would do her. <laughs> you would do a fish. <laughs> Sick bastard, you. Hey. Fish need love too. Hey, I told you, you are underneath me, mister. You're a bus boy. You fuck anything that moves. I do not. No. I draw the line. You fuck do too. I, you know, I've seen, I've seen it. You and your sex videos. You walk into your house and your dog goes to sleep immediately because he's afraid to fucked. That's just disgusting, dude. <laughs> Don't tell me it doesn't intrigue you a little bit, bestiality. That's why you're so uh, interested in uh, the person that uh, we won't name today because it's for another show. You like barnyard animals. Dude, shut up. <laughs> but you know it's true. You've heard conversations before. I read that so it's so. Shush, no. It, <laughs> it increases the quality of the show. No, it don't. It don't. Okay, okay. yay or nay. Oh, definitely thumbs up. Let's do yay and nay with everything. Let's start with, let's start with Sandow winning. Yay or nay. Okay. Yay, yay for me. What do you think about Lee Eaton? What's Big his name? Lee Lee Easton. Fucking little Easton, mister. He does not deserve Beggy. <sighs> Whatever, dude. I mean, he's well called Mark Henry Tiny. He is Tiny. <laughs> Although, her Zeus' name is Tiny Lester Jr. That's pretty yeah. funny. He's, he's big to be tiny. Oh, uh, that's true. But yet he's tiny. So, that must have been some sort of running joke with his parents. <laughs> <I think. laughs> Anyways, alright. It's kind of like what my parents again. I don't know. They must have known people were calling me Mike at some point. Bastards. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I, I, sit- I watched that one. You did what? I'm a fan of so. You know, by the way, the uh, brownies are going in the oven. Yeah, you're going to be at 5. Oh, it's 9.48, so it's 9.48. You're three, you're three minutes slow. That's what my mom used to tell me. Yeah, probably. I could see that. Anyways, continue. Yeah. I permit it. I thought it was a decent match. I mean, for a big man, he can move. Well. But then again, he was in there with Ansh. can pretty much work with anybody. <laughs> Yeah. But why? See, for me, Little E. Needleston is a less talented and African American, I might add. John Cena. Actually, I guess he's probably not African American because I think he was born in the I think he was born in the states. I don't know why. Why do we call them African American still? Yeah, hey, I don't know. Well, there hasn't been an, a legitimate African American since the last fucking person came over from Africa, for fuck's sake. And we'd probably have to go to goddamn City Hall to figure that out. <laughs> we call everybody. I don't. Oh. But you know what the problem is? Everybody's so fucking diverse today. You yeah. don't. What well, you don't know what to say. You don't know. I don't like to refer to them as anything. They're just people to me, man. Yeah. I don't know. Like you know, Halle Berry and Rihanna. They're not colored folks or anything bullshit. That they're just fucking hot women. That I would slather in fudge sauce. All right, focus. Oh, sorry. Focus. Back at hand. Man. We can't talk about that either. What's wrong with you? No. 
That's for another show. Everything's for another show. What do we talk, talk about everything on one show? Then we ain't gonna have nothing else to talk about. Oh, bitch line, bitch shoe. What's that I cannot do? First, it's swearing. Don't swear on the show. Because then, you know, we might say something funny. <sighs> say something funny without dropping talk the F-bomb. Talk about things we talked about. Because for another show. Don't talk about sex. That's for another talk about naked. That's for another talk about hot actresses. That's definitely for another show. Better not talk about sports. Oh, wait, we're talking about wrestling, which is sports entertainment. Pseudo sport. Fine. Pseudo sport. I like to use those bigger. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. move along. Back on you're subject. You're the fucking one who will still be talking to me. Oh, well, yeah, you made me lose train of thought. You went from to celebrities you want to bone. Brownies, brownies have been for two minutes. Don't be brownies. The triple chocolate brownies that I made during the special. Wow. All right. That's what you said. <laughs> is it a boy or a girl? Wow! Uh, and, well, that definitely. <laughs> just that part of the show alone tanked everything. Uh, yeah. I suddenly don't want to do this anymore. I suddenly want a coffee. Oh, God. Hey, I haven't had a coffee in about 25 minutes, thank you. You know what sucked is the week of grading. I had to go like three days with next to no coffee. Why? <sighs> because it dehydrates me. Oh, wow, yeah. You stupid bitch, you knew that. Before you even ask, where's my coffee cup, Dave? I don't find your <laughs> antics amusing. You'll fucking give it back. I'll give it back next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. So, yeah. I think every Sunday we should do a show uh, about the wrestling during the week, of course. From Definitely. From, we can discuss uh, TN Stink on occasion. Let's, let's face it, there's not a lot to discuss. With <laughs> I was just about to say that. Yeah, there's not a lot going on there. No. No, 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 there's not. It's quite horrid, actually. Oh, you yeah. know what? I have to pour more sugar. You know what you should do while I'm pouring sugar? Is it's but, finish talking about what you liked at the Great Collie, because you never did finish. There's nothing I like about the Great Collie. The, you said... Oh, no, we were talking about Lily Needleson, I'm sorry. Yeah. Fine, talk about Lily Needleson. I said I liked the match. And I uh, think both those... Do you see where they butted heads? They just got eight stitches for that. Did they really? Yeah. Wow. That looks kind of painful, especially that cut under his eye. I, of course, meant wow was in holy crap. That's cool, not wow food. Just for Yeah, just want to clarify. We love you, wow food. We do. Aiden, come make love to us. Or at least converse with yeah. us on the show. <laughs> He's going to listen to the show and go sick bastards. I don't even want to be associated with him. <laughs> He'll probably fucking unfriend us. Yeah. <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> These fucks are doing shows again. They're even naming my real name. People know him in the UK, and I'm fat. Actually, I don't know if he's fat anymore, is he? No, I think he would been... He was working out. Working to get, out. Yeah. do his snake and all that crap. I mean, it, and I think it's a uh, creep, by the way. Have you seen this? Uh, You've seen pictures of it. Yeah, I think it's cool. Do you think it's actually real, or do you think he's a puppeteer? It's real. Oh. He's not that good. No, that's true. Well, I don't know. He's pretty good. I mean, he's talented. He is talented. He is. And he can sing. I want him to sing on our show. Well, you can keep working on it. Maybe you could have the uh, the, the Dave. See, I'm asked about the name. Should be the Archer and Dave show. It's the new uh, entrance video will be the Archer and Dave show just for you. Really? Yeah, it's actually rendering right this minute. It kind of makes me want to braid my pubic hair. I'm so excited. So That's so disgusting, dude. (laughs) Oh, uh, ah, uh, you're. S- okay, yeah, no. Yeah. No. Yes. 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 Back on topic. Yes. Right. Hey, I was back doing, on topic, motherfucker. I was doing the yes chant. That's deep, right? I was on topic. You're the one sliding downhill. You're talking about Never Lily mind. Needleston. Why you like him? Cause he's just something different. Why? What do you mean he's something different? What does he do for you? Muscles? It is his calf muscles. To do his, does his gluteus maximus turn you on? Like, what the fuck do you like about him? He does. A, Why don't you like him? Because he annoys me. He doesn't talk because uh, he doesn't talk well on the mic. I don't. I think his wrestling ability is more limited than John Cena. I don't think he has any charisma. I think he's strong. I think he's, ag- how long is he, he's agile, and I agree, he moves around the ring well. I just wish he'd appeal more often. I say, give it time. You will be surprised. Well, how old is he? How much time do we have here? Is he young? I haven't ever. I haven't ever. I'm not even sure. I don't know. I just don't know. there's got that it for me. But uh, <laughs> so fine, whatever. You like little knee Needleston. 
I will. Yeah, but I still don't understand why they like where where would it, where did they pull out of the uh, wrestling universe? I think they pulled that shit out of fucking fantasy, man. I mean, where how the fuck did they put Dean Ambrose against him originally? Sl- and why he was fighting Curtis Axel? I thought I thought Needleston was still a heel. What the fuck is he doing facing? No, he's there. He's in pace. That must have been doing. Did they do that on the next he did. No, they did after he kind of split with. Yeah, but they didn't really push that he was going to be a face though either. So it kind of. Oh. Does WWE ever push anything like they're supposed to anymore? That's true. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Well, your saying is definitely correct. Yeah. Just shut up. Nobody said you could be right about anything. All right. I have a moment. Well, actually, it's quite entertaining for me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I find it very amusing trying to keep you on track. Should we advertise for something yeah. on the show? What? I don't what? know. Put it on our YouTube channel. How about, how about for my local butcher shop? The butcher shop. Meat so fresh you'll want to slap it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was actually on a magnet address, but then I'd be giving shit away. They might not like it if they were They're talking about our shop online. Butcher shop. Rockful.com and shit. Oh, I never said that. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So, uh, oops advertise for Pepsi, Coke, Sprite, 7 Up. Woo-hoo. And we could talk about Dave sending me files while I'm trying to do a show. Why? You you seem to want to do everything in this show anyway. With you. so. You're trying to get me focused and you send me shit to look at. Well, yeah. It's your mom. It's okay. It's my mom. Yeah. Weird. I thought, Weird. I thought my mama was no blower. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back on the pay per view. That was so. Yeah. Mouth. By the way, Fandango, Fandango, oh, good enough. Dang. That's Fandango backwards. Wow. Oh, good enough. Wow. I'm it is oh, good enough. No, I'm just saying. I'm impressed oh. that you can say that. I am a brilliant man. I must have. Hey, no, yeah. I'm no, no. awesome. I'm the Michael. In your own. Oh no, I'm Archer. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've already ruined. Yeah, that. I fucking told that whole thing off long ago. That's all right. It still sounds better than the having Dave and Mike show. Dave and Mike Mike show. Or the, the, Mike the Dave and Mike show. Dave. The Dave and Mike Hunt show. <laughs> what is that show about? I tell you, it's R-rated. So. You have quite to lovely. listen to it at your risk. It is. The brownie's been in the oven anyway, now for about uh, ten minutes. It's quite. I would like this done in under the next three hours, if that's possible. So People are going to get bored by the middle of this. We've been constantly talking about nothing. They're going to enjoy that. Every last second of nothing. I love it. me the old shows. Those shall not be named. There's been lots of those shall not be named on this show, because you don't want to talk about anything. No, no, well, food, nothing that has to do with that. Well, food, we should well, just food. advertise. Should we give out his Facebook address? <laughs> I'd have people spam no. him. <laughs> He is a to which, by the way, well, food. If you're listening to this, which you probably will, because we're gonna post shit, and you're you're gonna know, and you're gonna say, "Hey, I'm bored. No cheeseburgers in my hand. I'll pick up a mouse and click on a link." Away we go. So, uh, I completely apologize for the uh, uh, pun surrounding your name. Um, but Dave, before we started wow. the show, mm-hmm. Dave said, "You know, we should really start discussing wild food." I, uh, I'm secretly in love with him, and I do miss him, and haven't talked to him in a while. So this is why all the reference. Um, and I apologize. It's completely Dave's idea. I know it's foolish, uh, self-centered, really, because, well, it's something nobody cares about bring up, so it's completely him. He's narcissistic in that way. Uh, but I do apologize, and, and if you don't want to ever listen to our show again, I completely understand. I'll just start one of my own without Dave, and you can listen to that. So, But uh, you should really come to the show. Sing us a song. Sing us Dave and Archer, which is supposed to become the Archer and Dave show. Um, but we'll see what happens with that, because Dave is lazy, and uh, it, you know it might hurt him to change a word around. You know, uh, I have feelings too, Dan. You do? Weird. Yes. Uh, anyway, so Fandango and Summer Rae won their match. Little E. Needleson won his match. Next, and this is another funny thing. Why so early in the card did we have the CM Punk versus Ryback match? I didn't understand that. 
No, but yet they have You're the D's match in between the Hell in a Cell and the fucking WWE title match. Maybe they wanted to have a letdown after the crowd was well, all wound up. That very well could know. be. That's just my thought. You might be right about that, my friend. My silly, filthy American friend. It's good to be Canadian. We are awesome. We can fuck like nobody else. Another Blame Canada. Canada. Hey, you know what you should I blame do Canada before we start everything. talking about the CM Punk match? Which you did watch, right? <laughs> okay, so you, I'll let yeah, you Yeah, I watched it. Oh, yeah, it's happening. I know. I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, mofo, you will speak you about Hell in a Cell. I will not speak about, about Hell in a Cell, okay? I'll reach the... I'll reach this, this fucking are. Skype connection and I'll shoot you in the crowd at our Fuck. in the single life, buddy. I just fucked it, Pete. I... It pisses me <laughs> off when people say that. Hey, man, enjoy the single life. Yes, I love going home beaten off. Thank you. It's great. Yeah. How's your wife? So, but... <laughs> oh, mine's so great. Thanks you see what me. I mean, though? Like... Uh... I sleep with a fucking pillow, you sleep with tits. I mean, how, what is so good about single life? <laughs> I'd rather be smacked back by the tits. All right, back You're to the to, CM Punk just, match. The fucking match, maybe? Do I don't know. About? Talk about CM Punk's nipples being harder than normal. <laughs> Were they? I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Me? Well, the match started out as uh, it took forever. The guy driving the scissor lift to get down to the Hell in a Cell. Okay. I thought that was kind of funny. Did you watch that? Watch that part where it took the guy whoever was driving kind of it like, forever it? to get down there. Yep, he didn't know what he was doing. He could. They, took, they cut to CM Punk once, and he was trying not to snicker about it. <laughs> <laughs> he was laughing. He he fucking knows. Carry will laugh right in the middle of the fucking segment. And they're supposed. They're not supposed to. Eh? Yeah. They're supposed to say, you know, yeah. pretty much, uh, yeah. Stay in character. The, is the only one that can go to character yeah, and not get in trouble. But, but who the fuck wants to piss him off? You know he trains in MMA and shit? If, he said if MMA would have been bigger 10 years ago. Yeah. And apparently he's a bad... Yeah. There's legitimate, like, uh, I can't remember who now. I'd have to go back and find the, the interview or whatever. For some reason, I think it was Chael Sonnen and, and somebody else that said that uh, if he was younger and actually get into the... The, the octagon, he'd be a fucking beast, apparently. I could see it. Look how, look how fast he is for such a big yeah. fucking guy. The power he's got, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Can you imagine getting into a cage with him and actually punch you? That's what I hate when uh, a lot of today's fans, they, you know, they got to talk about how wrestling's fake all the time. We well, you know what's a motherfuckers. It's real. It's in real. It hurts. Don't tell me that it's not yeah, it real. Hurts. People are fake. I agree with Anderson. People are fake. Wrestling is real. But how do you fake getting hit by a chair or being thrown through a table or off a cage, ladder, on ladders, through tables? You know what I mean? You, you, the yeah. storylines are fake. And yes, they don't punch and kick each other every 10 seconds. Do you want Big Show punching you in your head? His fist size you fucking head. Every 10 they, seconds? No, seriously. I mean, they, yeah. they, he's a legitimate badass. That guy. People talk about strongest people in the world. Big Show's never entered a strongman competition. I bet you he'd be fucking a beast. Or look at some people over in fucking Europe and shit that work in farms and shit that don't enter these things. There's a lot of strong people in the world. But Big Show, he's huge. They tried to get a boxing career going for him. They couldn't get him a fucking opponent. I can't say I blame the people. Sorry, I do not want him pounding yeah. me in the body. No! No. No! Not at all. Fuck that. Dude. So anyways, CM Punk, Ryback, Paul Heyman, tell me what you liked about the match, what you didn't like about the match, and whether... Well, obviously, I liked it that CM Punk won. Yeah, well, it was, that was good. Everybody knew. Oh, um, well, yeah. I just hope that this, after tonight, it kind of ends that it's been gone a little longer than I hoped. I'd like to I actually see CM Punk. Oh, I thought you were going to say back to either Paul Heyman. Because I'd like to go back to Paul Heyman no. and uh, partner with uh, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Here comes the pain. Uh,. Ryback, though, there he's going to be a pain to leave soon, too, if he doesn't soon smarten up. He's already on his way, from what I read. Well, how yeah. many times can they change his character? I personally, I think they should have went with his old yeah. Terminator-style character, to be honest. Because the guy does have potential. He's just, I don't know, he seems to be a meathead. He doesn't seem to 
adapt to certain situations and so on and so forth. He's he almost uh, everybody says bold and Messi reminds me of a young Ultimate Warrior because it took it took Warrior three or four starting yeah. back and actually like him, you know. And then by that time he got himself fired again. So yeah, and now he's back with WWE. <laughs> but uh, how could you not? The Warrior is very marketable and and and. Speaking of that, are uh, you going to be playing WWE? Uh, maybe I'm about to buy it. I'm a cheap bastard and still playing 13. 13 good. I still play 13. But 14 has create a title mode. Yeah. You create a title and it's yes. got the Ultimate Warrior. It turns me on just a little. Just to see the, to see the tassel Twilight boots kiss. and those armbands. You know what I'm happy is more wrestlers wearing tights and pants these days instead of just can Yeah. Man shirts, jeans, or whatever they. Yeah. Are you going to talk about the match? Or are we just going to leave our fucking audience hanging, you stupid bastard? Uh, well, what about the match? What did you... What I like everything like about it. I thought it was actually fast-paced. Uh, yeah, it was definitely the better of and, the two. And, and, and I'll be honest, Ryback actually looked all right in the match, but I mean, he was in there with CM Punk. CM Punk make a my fucking Mighty Mouse look good in there. He's awesome, yeah. you know? I'd love to see Daniel Bryan and Punk feuding. For a good six months to a year, I really would. And I I keep reading things about fucking Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Why do I not give a fuck about that? Oh, yeah, Undertaker's not losing to Brock Lesnar. We know Lesnar's got a fairly decent contract still left with him beyond WrestleMania, so we're not going anywhere. To me, that just makes sense. But if yeah. you're going to bring uh, Goldberg into the picture... I say uh, send him on a streak for a better part of a year with a big undefeated streak and have him uh, against uh, Undertaker. That'd be more interesting. Uh, that whole go undefeated streak, yeah, that's been done a hundred times. True enough. Don't you do that one idea? Yeah. Don't you, don't, you do not have permission for that. Hey, hi. remember? It's supposed to be the Archer and Dave show, the Dave Archer show. All right, I'll sit over in my corner that's talking. Right. Um... What do you think they could have done differently with the Ryback CM Punk match or anything, or do you think they did an hard job? You know the thing that bugs me the most about the Hell in a Cell match is they never really <laughs> used the Cell. Fuck you, I can't believe you said that, because I was going to bring that up. It's like, <laughs> That's what like, really irritates me. me, too. And like we were talking about uh, off the air when we were watching it, it was like, why do they only have, it's called Hell in a Cell, but yet they only have two matches in the yep. Cell. They should have every match in the no show. no fucking cell. I mean, I mean, I guess that's kind of what uh, the other wrestling organization is. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, TNA's going to be part of fucking WWE Vintage Collection inside fucking the next 10 years anyway. <laughs> Try the next year at the rate they're going. Yeah, and you know, and PC only got lots of money with the parent company. Yeah, the parent company's sick of fucking, sick of fucking spending money on their ass. If people, yep. if people would pay attention. They're not going to allow them to fuck around too much longer. I guarantee it. Uh, I was pissed. You know what? Like, uh, I'm, I know it's been, what, 12 years now, but they should have never done away with WCW. They should have left that as a competing organization. TNA would have been fucked a long time. And it pisses me off when people compare TNA to WCW. Fuck right off. TNA has never been at WCW caliber. They've lasted longer than WCW now. But in the short time that... No, they didn't. WCW lasted. No, no, I'm talking about t- WCW. They weren't really. Yeah, they started in the late 80s, early 90s. Early 90s. So, and, and yeah. Went all the way to 2002. Well, yeah, but that's but Vince bought them before the 2000s, though. No, they didn't. He bought them in 2002. It's before that, I think. I'm going Dude. back to, oh, you know, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of when some of their stars started crossing over. Yeah, you're in the mid-90s yeah. when, like, so, yeah. or, Kevin Nash, Dahal. Mid-to-late-90s, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's right, you're right, they didn't shut down. Because so 96 is when the whole NWO... But thing at the end of the day, TNA is going to last longer than WCW does, and that's probably all they're looking at doing, for that matter. Yeah. But, I mean, WCW, uh, TNA's never been a competitor, never been even on the same level, never had the same style of, you know, anything. They're just... Especially when they had the sixth side during that, always used to confuse me, and I hate... Oh, not me, it. man. It was like it wasn't bad for say the uh, the X division with the fast guys, but when you get into the heavyweights and stuff like that, get bouncing around that ring, they came off those ropes awkward at so many different times. There were so many fucking screw ups, and I don't know. 
I was yeah. glad when they got rid of the six sided ring. I wasn't. That's what made him unique. <sighs> yeah, but then you had fans that necessarily didn't like uh, say MMA at the time, and they were comparing it to that and might turn. The yeah, they were. They were right about that from a marketing standpoint. It's true. I love you. Love me too. Really? Why are we singing? Or I am anyway. Why are you? Singing? I don't fucking know. Would you carry on and talk about the match. I don't know. The uh, you know the ending of the match. Uh, Sam Punk getting his revenge on Paul Heyman was kind of nice. I kind of wish he would have just left they left him up there for the rest of the show. It would have been kind of funny. Knocked out up there for the rest of the show. Yeah, uh, that's just me. No, I kind of agree. But what do you think they could have done different with the show? With the match? Or with the show in general? Yeah, sorry, I meant the same match. Um, I don't know, maybe... I mean, it was good at telling the story. We all... I mean, Ryback did pretty decent. I th- just... I don't know. It was lacking that... Th- I already told that you. That foul factor. You know this is I mean? very true. It was just more pedestrian. Yeah, what, most of the ma- matches didn't really have that wow factor. I mean, it was a better pay per view than Battleground was. But, well, Battleground was epic stink. Yeah, but it's that's what you get big, when you only you got e, capital P. Three, yeah, you, well, it's what's going to happen when you have three pay per views in under two months. I mean, you got Battleground, then Hell in a Cell, and then you have Survivor Series next month. This is true. I mean, there's no chance to build any storylines. That's what I really miss about the old. Olden days, everything days of wrestling. There was always stories. They didn't just rush from one story to the next because they had a pay per view every month. Were you? What do you think of? Uh, I don't have too much of it, you know. But what did you think about after, like after Punk getting his hands on Heyman and shit? What did you think of the whole uh, backstage interview? I missed that with Brian. Oh, yeah, I don't. Know. I don't know. I'm, yes, I'm glad they used Renee old. Young on television. I remember when she first started on just that show she did after on stuff with yeah. Jimmy Caderis and she did other stuff too, but yeah, she was like a scorer. For, was it was a scorer. Timekeeper or something? No, no, and she did the uh, uh, was it the score she worked for? Oh, I can tell you. No. Anyways, I think she's really good. Yeah. Plus, she's kind of easy on the eyes, so it's nice to have. I don't know. They've been pushing that whole new brain as the underdog. Thing a little too much, I think. Well, especially when he's easily the best wrestler on the fucking like yeah. the only person that's equivalent to him right now is CM Punk. Yeah. Damian Sandow too, but they don't utilize. Him. I don't think Damian's quite that level yet. Oh, I don't know. He's pretty good. You know who uh, I really like, and he could be another love child. He could be the love child of William Regal and the old Hunter Hearst Helmsley, and that's Wade Barrett. They need to fucking get him back to a proper gimmick. Yeah. Well, he needs to get his visa figured out first. Well, they are doing that right now, and they're repackaging him again. I think that's a mistake. Don't repackage him. Have him go back. Yeah. Go back to the when he code over and you know. He thought, yep. Well, he is. Wow. Okay. The bare knuckle champion. <laughs> so you did or didn't see the uh, backstage interview? I kind of did. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, well, then we'll just... I, I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. Except for you. We don't need backstage segments. Blah. Well, yeah, I mean, it was just basically, oh, I've always wanted to be WWE champion. I can do it. I'm going to prove it tonight. Blah, 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 blah. He looked at Renee Young tits. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then up next, it was Matadori away versus the Real Americans. That was actually a good match, I thought. Except for the big swing. I know you're not a big fan of that. I didn't say that. I just think they're pushing it too far. Like, is that going to be... I don't understand why they're, they don't do Zaro. He's an amazing wrestler. Yeah. He needs to get away from real Americans. Because he's not even American. It makes no sense. Well, I liked the whole anti-American American thing better. Yeah. They could have done so much more. But the problem was, is uh, they brought in some culture who's, you know, also a... How would you put it? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Actually, just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? We'll, we'll edit this out and edit it out in post production. 
What do you think of those? Matadore. Ole. That's on Primo, right? Yep. And Primo. Ole. I'm just glad those two are actually getting some TV time now. And I'm, there- I'm glad that they know those personas, too, because now they can wrestle the way they can wrestle. Yeah. Now, now would be a good time to bring Carlito back and put a mask on his ass and have another trio. See, I don't. I heard he burned too many bridges while he was there. What a dumb bastard. Yeah. I don't know. That's just what I remember reading back in the day. But. Was well, yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Holy crap. I've been on the line talking to you for almost three hours. That's not my problem. That is your problem. You made me. Fuck you, you told me to get on Skype. You said now, as a matter of fact, you demanded. And then you insulted me by having me the host of a that's not even named after me. Oh my goodness. At least not first. It is too. I don't know what you're getting all this. It's not named after me. Pull Dude, it, 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 we're recording the show. It's the Dave and Archer. No, it's the Archer and Dave show. There's no to that. Yeah, there is. It's sitting on my computer. Okay, that's all fine and good, but the recording states it does. No, it doesn't. Anyways, back on show. So what did you like about the match? Which match? You know what I actually like? Had- <laughs> the False Matadores match? I like everything about their match. They're very entertaining to watch. High-paced. Yeah. Their, their athletics are amazing. They're just really fun to watch. The, I think the whole bull thing is yeah, but, but it seems to have gotten them over, you know what I mean? Oh, and just for a quick update... The brownies smell delicious, and probably with the next five minutes should be ready to come out of the oven. And I know that excites you. Yay. So, anyways, what were you saying? I don't know. You made me lose my train of chalk with Bernie Thank talk. you for losing fucking trains of thoughts. Yeah. That's just a bullshit cop out for I'm dumb. Well, I, I am. I'm from America. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think, but the bull, I think, is what's really gotten them over with the crowd. Well... Yeah. You know, and I know this is about the match, but it's back to what we were talking about earlier, is that the Usos, why are they not already champions? Yeah. You know, they should be the ones, uh, family versus family type of thing. Yeah. Well I, uh, well, I guess Los Matadores can jump in. Yeah. But they won't get the titles till WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, I was just nice that they actually had a couple tag team matches in there. I miss tag team matches. They were my favorite thing to watch growing up. I do like them. And you're right, they really screwed up the division for quite a long time, boy. Yep. It was sad. Uh, but where do you see Los Matadors going? Who, by the way, has won, right? Yes, they did win. Yes, they did. Um, I don't know. I just think it's a gimmick that's not going to go anywhere. Really? Yeah, I mean... I think they'll get the titles at least once. You think so? Well... Many people disagree with my statement, but I do think they will. Huh? At least, at least I once. Somehow. I don't know. Yeah. But so you think they're just going to fade? Uh, I don't know. I think they'll lose the appeal and then they'll get repacked into like the, these disco tag. I don't know. <laughs> Is that what you think? No. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you think. You can't even come up with your own lines. You steal everything from The Rock. Yeah. He stole from me. No, he didn't. Yes. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. I was even born after him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, wow. That's where the whole Mike, the Michael thing came from. You know where that came from? I think I've told this story before, but when I was younger, they used to call me Little Bull. I was stronger than most people thought because I'm, I'm only 5'10". Now, yeah. back then, I was shorter. I was always really strong. Bad shit. And... Uh, a whole bunch of us named Michael, and so one would be called Michael, Mike, then one was called by their last name, and when it came to me, originally it was the Michael, because they were like, we're going to call you the Michael, because you're more unique than the rest of them, it was like a running joke, right? Yeah. They, they were being sarcastic with the statement, right? <laughs> and so, but then the whole rock thing started, mm-hmm. that dropped the Rocky you might be in. And at the time, you know, you were kind of, you weren't sure whether to like it or mock it, so I, you know, I used to mock it. And uh, then we changed it from, I'd go around mimicking shit he did, get drunk and do something stupid like The Rock or something, right? <laughs> no, not Just either. to get a laugh. I did it to my boss once. That was funny. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face. Now, it's a good thing for friends because I was working for a, a telemarketing firm, right? Mm. And he just, he delivers his announcements. And 
I asked him a question. And before he could, j- just as he was about to answer it, I, I said something like, it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> and I just held it, right? And fucking people laughed. And he did too. It took a few seconds. We were, we, the laughter kind of dulled a bit. We were like, oh shit, is he going to be okay with this even or what? And then he starts laughing off, right? Oh, it was a funny moment. <laughs> but, so I did like that. So I went from the Michael to the Michael. And, then, the v. and I just got, I guess, sick of the whole thing, right? Yeah. And I ended up going by, people started just referring to me as Archer. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? But, uh, anyways. I'll call you whatever you want me to call you. Yeah. I miss writing the Elias Archer stuff. I got to talk I, about I, that. Oh, yeah. That's another show. Another show. But the show is the uh, Dave and Archer show for yeah, now. It's the Archer and Dave show. Yeah, well, that's what you're going to morph it. But the truth, when we started the show. Yeah. Well, you made a big deal out of it, so I didn't want to hurt your feelings. So I caved, <laughs> like I always do. I took for the team. I can't believe you think Los Matadores are going to fucking flop. You bastard. I like them. I like them, but I just don't see them going anywhere. They're too gimmicky. Oh. I think you're... You... Shut up. Okay. <laughs> so they won, of course. Yep. Uh, I don't think anybody was really surprised that uh, the, the Real Americans did not defeat them. No. Uh, I'm kind of getting sick of them losing all the time, actually, though. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They, yeah. You know what I mean? They spend so much time with the Vignettas and and trash and the people and yeah and then they then they lose then they lose you know yep it's weird it's weird but at the same time I'd rather have Lost Matadores one because then we can say ole and watch the bull run around and gore people so that's cool too yep. and we hear the word gore again gore even though even though uh, Rhino's not there yeah so interesting yeah what do you think of the Mars? Are you over with that? I was never a fan. No, I'm not. Yeah, uh, I was just like, he's serious. <laughs> yeah, I like Sam Coulter, though. I've always been a fan of his. But Oh, yeah. And if they were in, I mean, let's face it, if they were still winning and shit, like, what did they... I know he had a DUI charge there. And that's what kind of ruined it. That's kind of ruined his push, but come on. I think he's... I think it's time to do something different than that with him. Yeah. And Cesaro, he's swinging people around for fuck's sake. I mean, he can do so much more. Strange. Yep. Indeed. So uh, up next after that match, it was uh, the World Heavyweight Championship match. Can we just skip it? I'm so disappointed. You are excited, and you're going to tell us why. It was Alberto Del Rio versus the returning too soon John Cena, who got booed, by the way. Loudly. Loudly. Like, he got booed out of that state. But here's the thing. People... Honestly, respect John Cena. You can't not respect John Cena. He's, he is, in fact, a modern-day Hulk. Yeah, I mean, sense. I respect what he does outside of the ring. Yeah. I respect his I ability know. in the ring because the guy can wrestle. I mean, oh, yeah, we they just don't about let that earlier. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. First, yeah. Back, if you watch the first match he ever did with Kurt Angle, he can wrestle. Oh, yeah. But they just yeah. don't let him, so he only gets to do don't. the five-move doom. Yeah. And I, yeah. I just think he needs a gimmick change. I mean, he needs to freshen it up. It's the same old Super Cena is getting old. Yes. And I know he's, you know, trying to still uh, be marketable to the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation and this and that. But come on. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. It's time to do something. I mean, who, who says he has to turn heel? Just go edgier. Yeah. Get a chip on your shoulder and you don't care who you fuck take on all comers. And- yeah. Do some wrestling shit again. I don't know. And wrestle. Yep. So, yeah, I hate having that conversation. Usually, and people will try to get, they'll try to convince you that, no, we can't wrestle. Like, what are you talking about? You have to just agree to agree to disagree. Say, okay. Yep. Cena, Cena can't wrestle. Let's chant that. In fact, probably won't, he's one of the better ones. Yeah. But because he's just shoved down our throat so much. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, take a break, John. Two months? Are you kidding me? Go to fucking Hawaii and bask in the sun for six months. Yep. And not only does he come back, he, he, he fucking he wins. Debuts. Ah, he redebuts on a fucking pay per view. He wins. And, and why did they have to take the title off Del Rio Three again? And Cena. Wait. No. Yeah, he does. I hate Del Rio. Well, he's a good wrestler, but yeah, his gimmick is boring. Like, you need to do something. So they they should be more of 
uh, like an Eddie Guerrero style character. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then obviously he's just copying Guerrero. Well, yeah, I didn't say do that, but something of that nature. Like, I don't know. Yeah. He's another one that you you would love to see do more. But what is he? What is he? Uh, what is his point? Yeah. Is it Mexican superhero? Is he the uh, anti-American that lives in America from Mexico? Who likes to complain. Is he JBL? Is he? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't know. He's confused me too. I just kind of overlook it more than say Kofi Kingston because at least Alberto Del Rio can wrestle, yeah. and he's a legitimate athlete. He was an MMA fighter, even. Yep. Uh, it's successful and even so and a lucha libre i mean he's he's just genuinely really good but it, it, again his gimmick is just confusing all yeah. the time they you, you don't know what they're doing with them they change it so much yeah hey. so much seen it not enough yeah. <laughs> i don't know I'm glad they got rid of that. I think we discussed, I can't remember if we were on the show discussing this or if we uh, discussed it off the show, but I was glad they finally changed the uh, WWE title, but I'm not overly fond of the new one either. It looks too much like a toy. Yeah, because, I mean, if it was a plate like that, I think it'd be pretty cool. But because you see the belt coming through the back, it's like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, the logo. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I wish they would have taken the ECW title, the last one, the, the platinum one. I, that was a beautiful title. Too good for ECW. And uh, they should have had that turn gold and used that kind of a design because that was a beautiful title. That's a shame that one just disappeared. And please get rid of the Eva's title. Fuck, go back to the Women's yeah, that's, Championship. that's a horrid title. It is. It really, really is. Yeah. I don't understand it. Well, no, so, they need to just get rid of the – if they bring back the women's title, they need to bring back women's wrestling. You have to, fin- yeah, this is true. Well, I think they are leaning to that slowly, which is nice. And they keep showing pictures like with of AJ with the old women's title. And then I say let what's name come back in and fucking who claims to be the legitimate real WWE women champion. Who is it? Is it a lot Blaze? Medusa or whatever now. she was in. Medusa, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her crack and do the stint. Maybe you know, go back to the women's title or yeah. something. I don't know. Whatever. But I, I do care. agree that the Divas title match was way too far up on the card. It should have been like the opener or something. Yeah, exactly. So tell us uh, your true feelings on, on how the uh, Del Rio John Cena match turned out. It wasn't bad, but you know, I think everybody in that building knew he was going to win. There was no yeah. way he was coming back, debuting on a pay per view, and lose. He just doesn't lose on pay per views. You know, I was hoping he'd, uh, you know. Win, but if because you knew he was gonna win, I was hoping he'd win, but barely win San- and be able to come, come in and sand out. Yeah, I was ass. hoping they yeah. teased it when they showed him backstage. Maybe he's yeah. gonna have a feud with Sandow now. That'd be nice. I don't know. And have Alber- Alberto Del Rio keep attacking him and cause Cena to lose the title to, to Sandow yeah. somehow. I don't know. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. Maybe. So. They're going to do something with Wade yeah. Barrett, though. So anyways, uh, John Cena wins. Cleanly. Ooh. I know. That was the other thing that was strange. You know? I don't know. Whatever. Super Cena. Blech. Super Cena. You know, I was so mad the first time Jim Ross ever said that shit. Because I, I used to joke about that. I thought I said, if they ever start calling the fucker Super Cena, I'm going to stop watching <laughs> wrestling. Because I, I remember at one point I made a statement like... Uh, man, they just need to put a cape and yeah. tights on him. And then the very next week, I'm watching Raw, and Jim Jim Ross calls him Super Cena, and I went, "Oh my god, I no. quit watching." Yeah, it was horrid. I it was like my eardrums yeah. burst. Oh, okay, so yeah. whatever. Cena gets another world title. Boo. Ooh. Uh, I'd much rather Del Rio had kept the title and lost it to somebody yeah. else like uh, Rob Van Dam when he comes back next month or whatever. He would come back somewhere near Royal Rumble, so I don't know. Whatever. Blech. Anyways, next was AJ Lee versus Ebola. I kind of fell asleep. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't really paying attention. I wasn't paying attention either, but I know that AJ won. Mm. Mostly they split up well, the, the Bella Twins. 
Or well, Taysom Hill has it there, you know, between that John Cena and Daniel Bryan are supposed to feud again, and then they'll take their real life situation and bring it into the storyline with them. Yeah. Stink. Epic stink. Yeah. Capital E, capital P, capital I, capital C. Stink. Yes. Stink. Stink. I love the word stink because it covers such a wide variety of yes, things. It does. You don't like stink. something somebody says stink. You don't like something stink. you see stink. The food, the food sucks. Stink. My stink. Yeah. <laughs> things we're not supposed to discuss on the show because it's for another show. Stink. Anytime. Yeah. So many things. You don't even have to swear anymore. You can just use stink for everything, and eventually, at time, you can have stink become a swear word. Stinky stinker. <laughs> Stinktastic. Stinkalicious. Super mighty Mexican stink taco. Stink taco. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so yeah. Believe it or not, that was right after the Cena match. Why in the world was the deep match the second last match know. on the card? That was terrible. It was horrible. I thought they would have had the uh, tag team match out there, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Makes no sense to me. But once again, they're proving that the WWE title is more important and that it was the main event. Long time ago, like, you go, go back a few they were doing it with yeah. the world title, not to the WWE title. Of course, it looked like a fucking uh, giant toy. Still looks like a toy, actually. It's just a nicer toy. It is a nicer toy. I, I just don't like how the, the fucking belt shows through. I think it's cheap looking. Whatever. So up next, it was uh, um, Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. And didn't really utilize the cell, like yeah. you were saying earlier. I mean, like, they tried, uh, I guess. I mean, his suicide dives look What were your thoughts on that match as a whole? Uh, I'd give it a B. It just, you knew one of two things was going to happen. Shawn Michaels was going to turn on Triple H, or he was going to turn on Daniel, Daniel Bryan. It was just, there, there was no way around it. There was no logical reason for having Michaels in that match. A lot of people said, a lot of people said that he would turn on D-Bray. I just couldn't figure out why, but no. If he, it's because he put his hands on Triple H, that's what he's going to say. He said, yeah. I was going to call it down the middle, but you had to put your hands on uh, Triple H, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Ross is the tomorrow. Yes. So, anyway, so what's your thoughts on, on the match, match as a whole? I'll give it a B. Just kind of like, eh. Orton wins again. Woo. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but where, where are they going to go from here? Though? I don't know. I think... I don't know. That's a good question. I heard Vince McMahon... I think they're going back into the... Sure. Well, I'm hoping he he's the one that brings Big Show back and has a feud with Triple H. That's where I'm hoping that's going. And then... Uh, I don't know. Daniel Bryan's going to have to get a rematch with Orton somehow. Yeah. That's possible. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Well, who else is going to fight Orton? Um, I mean, yeah. Mark Henry's coming back. He actually looks pretty good. He's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, he looks good, eh? He looks, yeah, really good. I was, but he looks I tough. was always a fan of his, even when he was, yeah. Because I used to watch him in the strong oh, yeah. competitions. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So, he could. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do now. Because that, uh... Even though I knew Randy Orton was going to win, I was still hoping that Brian would win. But yeah, I was I was rooting for Brian, but I knew he wasn't going to walk out of there champion. And it's too bad Michaels had never come out of retirement because uh, one last match with Daniel yeah, that would be cool. cool. I'd pay to see that one. Yeah, but I can't see I can't see it happening. So Randy Orton, new champion, WWE yeah. champion. John Cena. Yeah. That's funny, eh? The two guys that come up in the company together uh, from OVW, yeah. uh, champion at the same time again, and it's not the first time. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well, Randy Orton's awesome. I, I don't take any, I don't discredit Randy Orton at all. Um, I think he still needs, uh, after all these years, he still needs a little bit of work on the mic. He needs to cut better promos so that they can actually do something that's talking, some big shit, because I tell you, his interviews yeah. are boring it's like oh randy shut up and go wrestle because he's good at that yeah he's a good showman he's a good athlete 
he does well. Like he's, he. I mean, look at the stuff that they'll let him do because he's such. He's so good at what he does. Like they'll let people jump off the top rope and he'll RKO them. Which if he does wrong, yeah. it hurt their neck or anything, right? It's not as easy as that shit looks. I wouldn't want to try it. Not either. But that's uh, supposed to be pretty cool. You can actually do that up. in the new video game too. Yes, yeah. finishers. Um, did I tell you the brownies are doing the other and they're quite, yeah, they're quite looking quite delicious because we could eventually end the show. With so, them what that. would you give the pay per view on a five star? Oh, I'm gonna give it a six. Yeah. I'd probably give it a five. Uh, it was. I, give so it a I five. don't care. I gave it a six. I thought, you know why? Because I was much more impressed than I thought, and I thought Battleground was a bit of four, and I thought it was at least yeah, quite a bit better I than Battleground, Battleground. So I gave it a six. I thought five original. I thought five originally, and I thought we'll yeah. maybe give it a five point five. I thought <laughs> Fuck it, I gave it a six. Like a two. Worst. I gave four. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It had a couple good moments, but it's better than having a pay per view with uh, twenty two hundred people in attendance. <laughs> and it's supposed to be your WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. So, how are the brownies? Yep. Oh, I, I, I haven't had one yet. Warm They're brownies are the best. Now that you have your wow food. food brownies. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to bring his name well, up one more time. I think we should wrap the show. So, good show. I good, think we should do a good show. Call this the pilot. The episode. Archer show. Uh, we will call this the pilot episode because uh, the new revised episode one yes. will be the Archer and Dave show. Starring uh, Archer and himself. His noble sidekick, Tonto. Noble. There's there's nothing noble about your ass. I the you're, That's not how we introduced you in the beginning of the show. I no, you're, Here you go again. To make yourself sound more important than you really All are. Right. <laughs> And the lonely janitor. Oh, Dave. you know, da- janitor. Well, I don't know. I'm Janitors are kind of useful. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, too. Uh, uh, I'm hanging up. L A L. I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. Mexican meet on, on one of the next episodes of the Archer and Dave.